What is up, YouTube? It's Pro Custard. I'm here with an Evil Swarm deck profile, and I know, oh, it's it's an old deck profile. Like you've probably seen tens and thousands and millions of deck profiles. Not really, but this is just my personal build that I use, and it works really well in my opinion. Okay, to start this deck profile off, I have the two rabbits. Yes, to get out the Heliotrope, go for that first turn Orpheon, or a second turn Bahamut, and just take your opponent's monster because. That's always fun. Then you got the three Heliotropes. Ah, the three Castros. And the three Kirkions. Yes. I don't own them. Why would I own them? I can just borrow. Borrowing is always fun. Oh yeah, and he's like the best top deck card ever. If you top deck Kirkion in the mid or end game, you, you can just win. Especially when your, card, when your opponent has like limited cards in their hand on the field. Top deck Kirkion, go into that quick Ouroboros and just win. Uh, from there I play the two Thunderbirds and three Mandragoras. I only play two of each because you don't really need the third one of each because you can get the infestation and you just keep recycling. If your deck was to say just keep spamming Bahamut and taking control of your opponent's monsters then yes go by all means run three of each and discard from your hand but this is an Orpheon build just to stop the whole elemental dragon things because well my locals are swarming with them. Alright, and then to end off with the monsters, I play two maxis, just for those decks that special summon. Alright, for the spells, yes, the spells. The three pandemics. I have the third one, just in case if you saw my previous Evil Swarm deck profile. <laughs> two Forbidden Dress, yes, I found these as well, they're amazing. Don't even actually use it as a f like, main effect. Like When your opponent attacks you, you just activate Dress and you're like, yes! There's this monsters destroyed, and you can just spam uh, two missile space weapons because you really don't want to waste the pandemics. They're they're a good it's a good card, and then staples just monster reborn, dark hole, and reinforcements. Reinforcements is to use search out for caster. I don't play heavy because a lot of the decks now run very little back row, and what back row they do have the two mystical space weapons I run in the main deck will. It's good enough. It will do because the pandemics will also um, aid your aid your deck. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, sorry if I didn't explain that well. <laughs> um, for the traps, play the one X Zebra Born. Uh, people prefer playing the safe zones, but safe zones are expensive, and X Zebra Born is just hilarious because when your opponent spends all these resources into trying to get rid of your first Orpheon. And then you just activate actually reborn in their turn, and so they can't special summon either. It's so good, especially if you still have a set pandemic because they destroy your Orpheon with a monster effect, and your XD reborn will just um, prevent their special summoning. Uh, I play for two compulse. Compulse is good because it's like my favorite card in Yu Gi Oh! Well, and it's the best trap card in the format right now. Uh, two bonus, the second best card. Not so good against E Dragons, but you'll probably side them out for a. Imperial Iron Walls. And then the two Torrentials, because you play Pandemic, you're not afraid. Two Phoenix to protect your monsters from monster effects. One Infestation Infection. Alright, I'm going to talk about this card for a second. You activate this card in your opponent's turn when, when you summon a monster and they're all like, oh, Torrential, and you don't have your Pandemic yet. You can just activate this um, and shuffle that card into your deck and add, like, Kirkion or Thunderbird. Or your Caster, even. And then it's so good to save your monsters, and you just keep recycling. And your main card you'll search out will be Kirkion, so you can go for those easy um, XCs. And then you have the Judgment and Second Judgment. And to conclude it, I play the one Starlight. I play Starlight Road because you do want the protection. Because not always you're not always going to have Orpheon on the field. Like sometimes you open up with one monster, five back row, and just set everything. Because your opponent's not going to go like on the attack if you have five set cards. Because no one's that silly. <laughs> um, for the extra deck, I have the three Orpheons. This is good. Search out your Pandemics or Infestation. I will usually search out the Infestation first. So just in case if they destroy Pan um, Orpheon, you can then search out. You can summon another one with the Kirkion you searched out from your Infestation. Uh, I played the two Bahamuts. With the release of Kirkion and Tacking Galaxy, you can actually use. Bahamut a lot more. He's so good when your opponent summons like really strong monsters that you can't really potentially get over, so you just take control of them. 
forever. Then I have to play one Thanatos. I like Thanatos against um, the mirror match. Some people will play Nightmare, but I like Thanatos just so it's not affected by um, monster effects. Because sometimes if they side in Snowman, he does that some players do. And then one Ouroboros. He can potentially win games, but I rarely go into him. <laughs> um, For the rest of the extra deck, I just play Shockmaster because you can make him. First turn Shark Master always hurts the opponent a lot. My uh, Maestro for d defenses. Uh, proliferative, because he's proliferative. And he's amazing. Or well, she is amazing. Daggers to Emerald recycles the Helo trope for the um, Rabbit players. And also special summons, or can special summon Helo trope from the graveyard. And that 1950 Helo trope is actually really good. Uh, one Cowboy, because he. He by himself wins games, which is so funny. Uh, then I play one Pearl. In against decks that play Skill Drain or side in Skill Drain, Gemini Pearl is is the way to go. And for the ones that don't, I would usually go for Utopia, just because I like to defend. Like I want to get out my better monsters and get better plays going, because I prefer this deck being combo oriented rather than summon Orpheon and just sit on it. And then one Stardust for Starlight Road. You don't really, you won't really necessarily go into Stardust, but if you do, it's it's always a nice card to go into. All right, that was my deck profile for my Evil Swarms. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. My next deck profile, hopefully, will be Mecha Phantom Beast. I, I'm testing it a lot right now. It looks really good with the um, Tempest and the Baby Dragons, but I'm not sure. I probably need more testing for now. Okay, guys, remember to comment and subscribe and like this video. And have a nice day. Thanks.